For our 17th episode of How to Think Script, we're going to be building a multiple time frame squeeze histogram indicator. This has easily been one of the most requested indicators that we've had, and many of you have sent us an email just this week hoping for this build. My guess is this is because all of you have seen the newest quote-unquote game-changing indicator webinar that all of us have gotten accustomed to seeing every couple of weeks. So instead, we've built this indicator completely for free for all of our Volatility Box members, and it's included with your membership. So before I dive into the actual indicator, let me tell you a little bit about us. We do things differently here. We don't try to charge you for every little indicator or course. We don't blatantly copy other people's code and take credit for it. Instead, we build indicators from scratch for our entire Volatility Box community, where you don't need to worry about paying $1,000 every few weeks to try and make that amount back with a class or a live trade or any of that nonsense. Knowledge is power, it's meant to be shared, and that's what we're here to do. Now this MTF squeeze histogram indicator that we've made is particularly useful for getting an overview of the squeeze histogram across multiple time frames in one easy glance. This then helps you decipher the trend along with finding opportunities for potential trades before the move has actually taken place. Just like we always do, we're going to make our version of this indicator a little bit better and it's available for free download for all of our Volatility Box members and you can go ahead to the squeeze page right now and download it. There are a few different concepts that we're going to cover in the full link tutorial, but it's really not all that different from that MTF DMI indicator in which we already went over some of these concepts, right? The main one is we want to be able to reference multiple aggregation periods in one study. This is what then sets us up to be able to have this whole idea or concept of multiple time frames in one indicator. So that's one of the concepts. The second concept is around sharing some of the challenges, the hiccups, and the nuances that I've discovered when going through the debugging process to build a specific indicator. So I'm going to share those with you, so some of those should be at least learning points, but the other is to help us figure out, well, okay, once we find these bugs, how do we go about actually fixing some of these components so that they don't break, and how do we work within the constraints that the Thinkorswim platform has? And finally, the one I think that's most interesting is that now you as a user can actually select your own colors for the variables. And I know that sounds really, really elementary, but what that actually represents is a lot more, right? We've been able to connect the input variables to global variables so that from a study menu, you can go ahead and choose whatever color that you'd like to see, say, a particular label in and actually have the indicator change to that color without ever actually having to type in things like color.cyan or anything of that sort to go change the color. So this then introduces a whole new set of possibilities with what you could do not only with the idea of connecting input to global variables, but for those of you that say have a little bit older eyes, or you're colorblind, or you have a lighter colored platform and you know the, the cyan color just doesn't work for you, well now you can change all of that from one go just like that in the studies menu. And we'll also share this code, so for those of you that build your own set of indicators, you can lift uh, the entire color code and plug it into whatever indicators you currently have, and take that same functionality and basically replicate it into all of your personal indicators so that you can basically change the colors just like that. Now, let's talk about what an example of the final product of this tutorial looks like. So here we have the indicator in its final form, right? So in the corner, for example, here we have Net or Cloudflare, uh, which has been a stock that we've been looking at recently. It's one that we shared in a YouTube video, so that's why I have it here. But here you can see, right? You have multiple time frames. You have the one minute, the two minute, the three minute, all the way up to your four day. It even goes up to the monthly, assuming you have enough data on your charts that goes back to get you that monthly data. But you can see in one glance what the squeeze histogram is like on each of these time frames. So for example, on the 30 minute chart, we know that our squeeze histogram is currently red compared to on the 15 minute chart that's currently yellow compared to on the five minute chart that's currently cyan, right? And you can change again all these colors. I'll show you that. Let me actually, this is probably a good time to go straight to our platform to show you the live version of this. So here I have my thinkorswim charts open and I'll start by first showing you that color thing that I keep telling you about. So if you open the studies menu and you open up the options for this particular indicator, you can set each color that you'd like for the different types of histograms, right? So for example, I have everything set to the default, but you can go ahead and change it. We have 11 colors that we've included and programmed that you can then change this based off of whatever your eyes prefer. And in the tutorial, we'll show you how we connected that user input to actually go ahead and tell you in the code uh, that this is the color that I'd like to influence because typically we only use variables that are not text related there, but now we're able to use things like actual text. This is text that's coded in, cyan, you can change it to be light blue if you'd like, or whatever nomenclature you'd like to give it. So I think that's really cool. Anyway, so back to the charts, let's cycle through some of these to so give you an example. So we'll look at Amazon, for example. So in Amazon, we should see that for the most part, we have some really positive momentum 
cyan across the board. And just like that, you can easily tell that, hey, Amazon, for the most part, is fairly bullish with rising momentum, rising histogram. And you can find out where you may be looking at opportunities based off of where you may be pulling back the two day, the daily, the four hour and the one hour charts. And if we cycle through to, say, Peloton, for example, another one that's been on a lot of folks' names and hitting our volatility box radars, similar thing, right? We see that it's been trending for quite some time, bullish trend for the most part, but that 30 minute is starting to be bearish. And we found that out just like that in a few seconds by being on a two minute chart, but still having 30 minute data. And if I move this to one more, let's just go to something else a little bit different, like Boeing. There on Boeing, we can see that our larger time frames are actually more negative, right? Red and yellow histograms with our shorter time frames being the more bullish ones just in the near term, but our overall longer term trend is still bearish. And so just like that, you can see how quickly the indicator loads, how quickly each of these labels load and how that looks like in a live format. For all our volatility box members, uh, the multiple time frame squeeze histogram is already available for download on our squeeze uh, page. Uh, as you can notice on the Triple Pro Squeeze page, you should see a module 8 added, which contains not only the indicator code for the squeeze histogram, but also this 25 minute tutorial video. And for those that haven't seen this page, in modules 1 through 7, we not only build the Triple Pro Squeeze, but then we spend a good bit of time backtesting it, finding our own set of patterns, and adding in a secret sauce, which is the one that led to trades like the one in Cloudflare, which is about an 18% gain in the actual underlying in just a few days. So if you're a squeeze trader, I think you'll find this course extremely useful, uh, especially get some code out of it, some secret sauce, and something that you can use to become a much better squeeze trader. If you aren't already a Volatility Box member, then this is the perfect time to get started. Our goal with at least our Volatility Box subscription is to be able to provide you more value, more than enough value on day one in itself, so you don't even need to take a trade without feeling that, hey, you know what, my subscription has already paid for itself. You get not only all the indicators and modules and access to all the tutorial videos as part of the squeeze course, including this multiple time frame uh, squeeze histogram indicator, but you also get other members only indicators like our edge signal indicator, which you'll find useful in your own trading, even outside of the volatility box. However, I think the secret sauce in this is really the volatility box. That's our secret tool. That's the reason why we consistently profit from the marketplace. We have both a stock and a future subscription. The stock subscription is currently 129 bucks per month and includes access to our entire volatility box tool. Right here, you can generate uh, the volatility box for 8,200 stocks and ETFs. We have customizable levels. We're always adding in new features here. We also have a live scanner on the triggers page, which scans the market real time during live market hours. And it alerts you with real trade opportunities on this table when the market's actually open. So that starts to become a really powerful tool, which you can use alongside all these indicators to really just consistently profit from the marketplace. If you're a futures trader, we also have a futures volatility box. That's 147 bucks a month right now, which gives you access to our nine futures markets. Uh, but that's where we study these models. There's four models that are included, whether it's low volatility, whether it's high volatility, well, whether the market starts to pick back up again, whether the coronavirus starts to bring in scares, no matter what, we have models that allow us to adapt. And these are ranges that we've thoroughly back tested. And I think all of our members can vouch that simply just work much better than any of the free crap that other people are currently handing out. Our members can vouch for this. Feel free to talk to them. Feel free to ask them. But when most folks are getting stopped out on their trades, when you're losing $400, $500 on a futures trade, that's money that typically is flowing into our accounts because that's usually just our point when we're looking at entries for the really nice follow throughs that we get. And when the market was really in that high volatility period, some of these stretch targets were upwards of three to $4,000 a contract. Now, keep in mind, the risk on that was also a little bit higher. I want to make sure I caveat that. But I think that's where having ranges that you can trust multiple models that allow you to adapt to any market condition start to become really powerful. And this entire subscription becomes a no brainer given all the things that we include as part of it. Our goal is to make you better independent traders where you understand what goes on behind the actual tools that you use instead of simply just following them without understanding the logic behind them. So we hope you give us a shot. Even a one month subscription will give you access to download all of the squeeze files just in case that's all you're interested in. But we do hope that you stay much longer, and I'm confident that you will once you start to see just how powerful the system is. We hope you enjoyed the tutorial. For all of our Volatility Box members, please send some feedback. We have more modules to come, hopefully this week, uh, so be on the lookout for that. And I think you'll enjoy, really, this entire course that we've been able to build. All right, good luck trading. Hope you all have a wonderful weekend, and we'll see you in the next update.